Hi, it's Lindsay Ray, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a date night look, and that's going to be everything from hair to makeup to outfit, and I hope that you like this video. I feel like in life, the dates that I've gone on, I've either dressed up way too casual slash I looked like a potato sack, the other times I may have tried a little bit too hard, and I feel like now I finally am at a point in my life where I know how to dress my body and I feel like this is kind of um, a good look for the not too casual, not too fancy, just kind of in between that could be appropriate for every situation um, look. So I really hope you enjoy this video and if you do please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I, yeah I mean I guess let's get ready for your hot date tonight. <laughs> I'm so weird. All right, hello everyone. Right now I am in my comfy sweatpants just to get ready to go out. I always like to be comfortable. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is put on my iTunes, all my music in my playlist so I can jam out. And then I like to light a candle just to set the mood, especially if I'm going on a date. It's just a nice way to get ready and excited. That's all the makeup I'll be using in this look. This is the face, the eyes, and lastly, the lips. Now, after I wash my face, apply my moisturizer and my primer, I'm using my foundation, which I'm using a tinted moisturizer by Laura Mercier, the illuminate, illuminating, illuminizing, the one that's shiny. <laughs> I'm also going to be covering up with the Nearly Naked Concealer by Urban Decay, just because since I'm using a tinted moisturizer, it's not heavy coverage. Now, I also right now like to contour, especially if I'm going out at night. Um, I'm using the NYC bronzer, and I just like to make sure I do my cheekbones, my temples, and my jaw. To complement that, I'm using Benefit's Watts Up on my bridge of my nose, the high bones of my, on my cheek, the high bones of my cheek, my cheekbones, and then I also like to um, put it on my forehead and my chin, just wherever the light would naturally hit your face, and make sure you like blend that in, because otherwise it's going to be streaky and gross. Next, I'm going to be using Hot Mama by The Bomb, which is a really nice natural pink blush. Just putting that on the apples of my cheeks. Now, eyes. I'm going to be applying Urban Decay Primer Potion, and that's just to make sure all my shadows stay on. Now, I will be using the Naked 2 palette. The first color I'm going to be using is Verve. I think that's how you say it. And that's going to be applied all on the lids. And I really think this is a really pretty color for when you're going out. Um, at night or just like for a special occasion. Then I'm going to be using Busted in the crease and I think that this is also really, those two colors really complement each other very well. Now on my brow bone I'm going to be using a more neutral color but before I apply that I like to make sure that I um, smoke out and blend out the other colors. Now this is Foxy that I'm putting on my uh, brow bones and that's just because I didn't want it to be too much shimmer so I used that more matte color. On the inside of my tear duct, I am applying Booty Call. And I jam out when I get bored. Moving on. Now, don't judge me. I'm using the Naked 2 palette again, and it's for my eyebrows. I'm using Tease. Actually, it looks pretty good, and I don't have to buy a separate shadow to do my eyebrows, so I like to just use a gel eyeliner blush to do this. Now I'm using a Makeup Forever Aqua Liner in white and I just put that on the inside of my waterline and using the Stila Liquid Liner to do a nice line on the top of my lids and also a little bit on the bottom. Not in my waterline. I don't put black in my waterline. Then I apply the Benefit Mascara that I'm absolutely in love with and just curl your lashes, apply a little bit of Blistex and a little bit of liner. I do use lips, uh, Blistex as a primer actually for my lips. For the lipstick that I'm going to be using red. And this is just a Revlon red lipstick. I got it from CVS. Wow, that is really red. Um, but I really love it. It's a really pretty color. Then to top that off, I'm going to be using Staniac, which is just kind of like this red lip stain. And I got it in Birch Box, and I just kind of put that on top to keep everything in place. And that is the finished makeup look. It's very natural. And I don't think that it's so good to look like a clown on like a first date too. Next is hair. So I already do a whole tutorial on how to get this bouncy hair look um, with curls. So I'm just gonna speed it all up. But basically, I'm curling my entire head. Really easy. You can use a straightener. You don't even need to use a curling iron, which is like the best part. 
And now I just like to brush all the curls out so they don't look too, like you're trying too hard. Make them a little messy. And for date night, I always think it's fun to just like do a little bit of like some kind of pulled back hair look. So I just pulled two pieces of my hair back to give it a little something different. Now though, we gotta get clothes. Oh my goodness, what are you gonna wear on your date? Right now, I need to get out of my sweatpants and try on the first look. Biggest first problem is dressing in clothes that you might love, but don't necessarily flatter your body. Next mistake is sometimes you try a little too hard, and I'm sorry, but I could never be that girl that walks out like a hoochie mama. Lastly, when you find how to dress for your body, that is like the ultimate step. I think that you can make yourself look really classy while still showing off your curves. I love this look. My skirt is by Forever 21. My top is by Forever 21. And lastly, to you know, balance this outfit out. I'm just going with some simple black flats and the outfit for a first date or any date or just even going out with your girlfriends. I'm going with a simple Tiffany's duo of bracelet and necklace, putting in some anthropology earrings to match silver. And I think that the simple, the simpler the better, especially with the patterned skirt. But anyways, this is the finished look. I think it's so fun and flirty. It's casual enough yet formal enough to fit any kind of date. Enjoy. So that is my date look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're gonna take anything away from this, please let it be these things. One, don't dress like a hoochie mama. If he's only looking at you for your body, then you gotta keep walking and find someone that will love you for you, girlfriend. Two, dress for your body type. That's a huge thing that I've learned over the past like five years is how to dress for my body. And three, have fun. This is a date. Don't be too nervous because We've all been there, I've been there, so just enjoy and have a good time and be yourself. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I love you all so much, and please remember, if you like this video, and you like this outfit, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, love you, leave me comments what you want to see next, give me suggestions in the bottom bar. Love you guys, bye bye. Decisions, but I want it all, so I get it all I wanna eat the whole cake I'm not sharing, I'm not sharing You should've learned how to bet